It was an unspoken defeat. Neither of us are getting with Jenny tonight. Waking up with my back turned to a very consistent sound. Jenny wasn't just some regular girl. She was the girl. Jenny was the one. She was the kind of person you wanted to bring home to your mom. The type of person you would want to raise your kids. She just had such a pure heart. She was a, a very rare breed of human being. Is this person even human? Because she's perfect. How can someone be so nice? I loved Jenny. And honestly, she loved me too. As a friend. Yeah. Fucking devastated. Now some of y'all may know my uncle Hanif from some of my older stories. He's only one year older than me, so we kind of grew up as brothers, but technically he's my uncle. I'll let you do all the family tree math yourself. Now Hanif didn't know about my crush on Jenny. Actually, no one knew about my crush on Jenny. Which makes no sense because why else do you think I'm hanging out with her every single day? You think I like being her friend? No guy does that. Guys and girls cannot be friends. And Jenny was so oblivious to my feelings for her, she would tell people right in front of me I was like a brother to her. If a girl ever puts you in the brother zone, just give up. That's it. You gave it your best shot, pat yourself on the back, and keep it pushing. If you do it any other way, you ain't pushing Pete. So fast forward a little, and my boy Jason, he was throwing this huge party one Friday night. And the word on the street was, this was gonna be the biggest party of the year on some Project X shit. And everyone was going. But more importantly, Jenny would be there. I could go to this party tonight with Jenny, and then we'll have the time of our lives, and by the end of it, she'll realize that I'm the one. And I'm gonna grab that moment by the balls and tell her how I really feel about it. Simple maths. So now me and Hanif are on our way to the party, and I'm not gonna cap with y'all, I was daydreaming a little bit. But I must have caught Hanif's attention. Yo, yo, who got you smiling like that? Come on, man, chill, chill. You're tripping right now, dude. If you're fucking with some shorty, you gotta get on it tonight. What, what do you mean? I mean, tonight's gonna be the craziest party of the year, and a lot of people gonna be getting out of character. Nah, I think deep down, Shorty know, she knows she belong with me. I keep playing. She gonna feel something deep down, and it's not gonna be you. He wasn't lying. So Hanif and I take a couple shots in the car, you know, just to loosen up a little bit, because Lord knows I need it. I can't be acting all shy and shit. I open the front door, and immediately, my eyes locked with Jenny's. Oh my God, she's beautiful. Yo, one of these hoes is getting slayed tonight. So me and Jenny were sitting in the back smoking, I, I mean, smelling some grass scented candles and sipping some special flavor Capri Suns. And we were feeling nice. She just kept telling me how much she loves me and how great of a person I am to her. And at this point, the Capri Suns are definitely doing the talking for her. But trust, I did not care. I loved hearing that come out of her mouth. But after a while, I realized my Capri Sun was getting a little empty. And hers was getting a little empty too. So I told her I was going to go grab both of us some drinks. I'm walking over to the kitchen just to see from the corner of my eye. This nigga Hanif sits right beside Jenny. Hold up. Did you not just see me with her this whole time? Wh what is this nigga doing? He's my uncle. He couldn't be doing me like this right then i see this nigga whisper in her ear and she smiled what the fuck is so funny jenny this nigga done turn into dave Chappelle or something like what's going on then before i could even make my way back to jenny everyone that's not out of the residence that doesn't live here in the next five minutes will be leaving in handcuffs the party is over fuck there goes my night with jenny yo feet if you and jenny are too lit to go home you guys can spend the night in my guest room I got three extra beds in there. My fucking nigga, the fucking goat. I am not fucking this up. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yo, Jason, I appreciate it. And right before I could even plot my next move. Yo, Jason, you said there's three beds in there, right? I think I might need to spend the night as well. Uh, what? Who said that? No, it can't be. I look back 
It's fucking Hanif. Is this nigga trying to ruin my night with Jenny? Do we got beef or something? We get into the extra bedroom and off rip, my chances with Jenny goes from 50% to fucking zero. Good night, boys. I'll see you in the morning. I'm really tired. I look at Hanif. Hanif looks at me. I'm still looking at Hanif look at me. And it was an unspoken defeat. Neither of us are getting with Jenny tonight. It was time to go to sleep. Or so I fucking thought. I'm unclear the time frame because I gave up and actually went to sleep. But all I remember was waking up with my back turned to a very consistent sound. No, 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 no. It, it can't be. What is this noise? I've heard this sound before. This isn't the sound of sleep, but the sound of cheeks being clapped. But that's impossible. Jenny said she was going to sleep, and she was hanging out with me all night. So Hanif didn't even stand a chance, and I'm in the room. No one is dumb enough to do the nasty with people in the room. Yeah, I'm tripping. And right when I came to my conclusion, no pun intended, the noise stopped. So naturally, I turned my back to check, and I couldn't believe my fucking eyes. Jenny's legs were straight up in the air, and on top of her was the one and only. My uncle, honey, going to work on the love of my life. I could literally feel my eyes sinking into the back of my head. I have never seen anything so devastating. All these different emotions were flowing through my body. Yo, I, I should kill this nigga. This nigga has to die expeditiously. I'm going to kill him right now. But then again, he didn't even know. I was too pussy to tell her or him how I felt. So maybe this was my fault. In the end, I didn't say anything. And... I couldn't even really be mad. I didn't tell Jenny, and I didn't tell my uncle. That was Jenny, love of my life. I gonna be mad at myself that my uncle was pushing P, literally, and Jenny. I got over it. Yeah, I was down bad. If there's anything I want you guys to know, if you want something, you have to grab it by the balls and take it. <laughs> no pun intended. I love you guys. Peace.